Hey guys, how's it going? So this is Josh with Tech Zone UK. Sorry if I sound a bit odd, I've um, I got a bit of a cold. Um, however, in this video, what I want to show you how to do is how you can set up triple screens using IE Finity. <laughs> If you don't know already, what basically having triple screens allows you to do is if I can grab hold of the mouse here, if I go to my middle screen, if I grab this window here, I can just move it over to that screen there, and I can move it over to this screen here and enlarge it or do whatever I want. Now what iFinity does is allows us to have, instead of, if I can show you quickly, on the bar on the left, look, you can see we just have our start button and then our time here. But what iFinity will do, is it'll put the start button in this corner here, spread it all the way across this screen, all the way across this one, and then put the time obviously down in the bottom right hand corner. So basically what it does is it combines all three screens into one huge resolution, which is something like uh, 5,700 by uh, 1080, because obviously it can't change the, the height of the screen, but it definitely changes the, uh, the width. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the uh, the screen capture, or well, in fact actually no, what I'm going to do is show you the connections on how you can actually set it up uh, with iFinity. Now what I'm doing is I'm using, um, the graphics card I have is an HD 6950 which can support up to 6 screens I think, no, yeah 6 screens. And basically on the back of this screen here, you can see, I wonder if the, the camera light's not on for some reason, it's weird. Um, We've got a DVI on this one here, and then coming over to this screen just here, I have a DVI connector there, and on the last screen, I have a DVI one there, that um, VGA one, that just goes to my server, um, whereas this one here goes down to the back of my computer, and if we come down past my desktop, there's my desktop there, and we come down to the back, what I'll do is I'll just pause the, the video quick and just put on the light so you guys can see. What we have going on in the back here is, well, three slots that really I should cover up. I need to just put the covers on them. Um, but basically what we have is here, oh, here is my, my graphics card. And what we have here is two DVIs. So one going to the top one, one going into the bottom one there. And then we have a HDMI there that's not being used because you can't actually use the HDMI there for um, iFinity. But what we do have is to enable our third DVI connector here. So all three of these are DVI to DVI on our, our full screens. What we have is an active display port adapter. Okay. Now I bought this one off eBay for about £20. Um, so basically what you need to do is uh, go on online, go into your local store. Uh, I think Maplin sells them if you're in the UK. Um, whereas at the time they didn't have one in stock which was a bit rubbish um, but bought this one offline for about £20 and you need to make sure it's active if it's not active it doesn't display or doesn't refresh the, the uh, screen quick enough um, so basically it doesn't actually enable iFinity or triple screens so basically the mini display port adapter looks like that, this little thing here, it's absolutely tiny it's commonly used in uh, Macs as well and if I wanted another one here, I could put another screen there. What you can get is a uh, mini display port splitter, which unlike VGA and DVI splitters, they actually allow uh, two screens. So obviously, like I said, we have two DVIs, one uh, mini display port, two uh, DVI, which is the DVI uh, female. Then we have a DVI male, which is this one here, which goes into this one, and obviously tighten on these two screws. And then right, we can so go onto the, the computer desktop. and I'll show you how to set up by do infinity. is set all three screens to duplicate the middle one. So essentially we'll have three screens displaying the exact same thing. And we do that by going into our AMD Vision um, control center. Now if you're running an uh, NVIDIA card you can't do this. Um, if you're running NVIDIA you need to use... Um, I don't actually know what it's called in NVIDIA. <laughs> I think it's only available in the AMD cards, but maybe wrong. But basically, if you've got an AMD card, come into the AMD Vision uh, Control Center, go to Desktop Management, and then Creating and Arranging Desktops. And what we need to do is 
desktop 1 is the screen on the left, desktop 2 is the screen in the middle, and desktop 3 is the screen on the right. Um, and basically what we need to do is come on number 1 here, right click and go on to uh, oh no, sorry, we need to come down here, right click and then go on duplicate, so where it says please select to display or you can, uh, I don't think you can actually do it on that menu come down here where it says all three screens, and go on desktop 1, right click and go duplicate uh, and then it basically says please select the desktop to duplicate, so obviously we want to duplicate the middle screen because that's our main screen, so if we press that it says to duplicate this screen the desktop will be disabled, I'm going to click OK hoping that my screen uh, screen software doesn't mess up uh, I'm going to hit yes to save these changes and now I don't think you guys can see it but I have, I'm seeing the exact same thing on the left screen than I am on the middle screen and finally just to finish this off we need to do exactly the same thing on the third screen so right click go duplicate and then obviously we don't need to select um, which screen we want it to duplicate because there's only two screens being enabled at the moment so we're just going to hit continue and then hoping this doesn't mess up my screen capture like I said so now at the moment all three uh, screens are displaying the same thing so I'm just going to hit yes here to um, acknowledge that so as you can see here it says all three screens are basically named number two because they're all being uh, duplicated the same screen so what we need to do now is we need to create a group so we do this oh, we do this by right clicking on the middle one. Oh, let me think no. Nope. <laughs> what we do is we right click on this main one here and go display group and go create group and as you can see here we have the option to create three vertical screens so three by one or one by three going vertically so obviously ideally we want one long screen so what we're going to do here is click accept and basically if all goes to plan we now have one huge desktop that's being recorded very strangely um, I'm not sure what screen is being recorded at the moment so I'm going to have to figure this out uh, it says this is the uh, display arrangement correct I'm going to click uh, no and basically what this does is it comes up with a little window saying uh, please select the blue window which is the middle one and then it says please select the blue window which is the left one because this screen here on the left is blue and then basically we click done and if all goes to plan I can find out which screen is being recorded which is the left one here which is good <laughs> we now have one huge long desktop um, so the resolution of this total desktop now if I go to uh, screen resolution I apologize if you couldn't see that bit a minute ago when I selected the uh, is the desktops in the correct arrangement but you can see here now my desktop arrangement or resolution is now 5760 uh, by 1080 which is an absolutely huge uh, resolution so uh, what we can do is click OK and uh, do you want to compensate for bezels around the edges of the screen? I'm going to click no because I've already done that before but there we go that's pretty much how you set up uh, I affinity on um, the AMD card so before basically if you're getting a bit stuck on the blue box thing what it does it says uh, are the desktops in the correct arrangement you press no and then it comes up here um, with three blue boxes and one of your three screens will go blue and all you do is say the right screen was blue and all these were blue you just click on the right screen if your right screen was blue, if your middle screen was blue, you press the middle screen, if your left one was blue, you press the left one. So it basically tells which which monitor is which, so then it can put it in one huge resolution. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll go back to the camera and I'll show you guys what it looks like um, when okay, you so just got one you pretty huge much uh, for. Um Here's the left screen and you can see I can now drag this all the way across the, uh, the desktop but basically instead of having the start menu uh, in the bottom left hand corner to the right hand corner on my screen it's now in the far left hand corner and it goes all the way across see there's no time in that corner and there's no start button in that corner it goes all the way across to this corner just here therefore showing the time and date and creating one huge resolution so if I were to um, come into say Notepad and I open that, that this window up here, 
as this thinks this is one huge desktop, if I double click on this, the program gets expanded to all three screens. Because at the end of the day, basically it's virtualizing or telling the computer that you've got one screen. So it acts, basically all it's doing is making three screens into one. Um, and then obviously if I were to type, say, uh, letters, then this uh, these letters would eventually go over all three screens like one huge document. And as you can see there. And uh, that's pretty much how it works. So that's how you set up iAffinity um, using an AMD card. So obviously really things that you, you need is three screens and an active DisplayPort adapter if you've got if you've got three DVI ports, then just use the three, uh, three DVI ports. If you've got uh, three VGA, I think that would work. It's just when you have two DVI, you just can't use the HDMI. So you have to use the DVIs and the mini display port. So uh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or anything like that, then please drop them in the comment section below. And uh, best of all, if you want to see more from me, then hit that like, uh, like button down below and hit that subscribe button as well. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care.